Hi, today we're going to go ahead and try uh, out our first virtual world here. It's Palm Island. So we're going to go ahead and launch our Robot C virtual world. So just double click there. And Robot C is going to open up. Now, the main thing with Robot C is that you can't do anything until you have a file open. So uh, the very th first thing we're going to do is open our file. So we're going to go to File, Open Sample Program. And we're going to scroll down, go to Virtual Worlds, we're going to go to Basic Movement, and then to MovingForward.c. Okay, so of course the very next thing we do is we save off our program. So we have this open from our sample programs, but we don't want to save back into the sample. So we go save as, file save as. I'm just going to save mine to my desktop. You should save yours to your folder or wherever you work. Okay, so now I'm working on my copy of movingforward.c. Okay, now we have to direct the program when we, what we call compile and download the program. We have to direct it to uh, the virtual world instead of a regular robot. So to do that, we go to Robot, Compiler Target, and we make sure that Fit Virtual Worlds is checked. If it's not checked, just click on it. Then we're going to select the virtual world we want to use. So we click on Window, select Virtual World to use. We make sure that Palm Island is selected. Okay. So now that we have our settings correct, um, let's take a look at the program. Um, so this first section, uh, these are the, we see uh, it's a hashtag pragma. So this is, and all these statements just define the actual robot. It tells us which port each of the motors or sensors is on. Um, and then we go down further, we look at the notes. So these are the comments. This tells us about the program itself. And then finally, we have the actual statements of the program. So we're, all those are uh, contained within these brackets for task main. Okay, so we notice we wait one millisecond 2,000 times. That's two seconds. We turn on the right motor. We turn on the left motor at the power level of 127. That's full power. And then we, while those motors are on, the program will wait one millisecond 3,000 times at three seconds. And then finally, once that last instruction is done, is done Notice it says the program ends and the robot stops. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile and download our program. So we're going to go to Robot, Compile and Download Program. And notice that our virtual world pops right up here. Okay, and we're on Challenge 1. Oops, let's go back home. Return to menu. So we're on Challenge 1 here. Okay, this challenge teaches students to program the robot to move forward. Um, and then we can uh, we can open the PDF for our level specifications. That's this area right here. Okay, so this describes the challenge for challenge one. We click on the little star to open our PDF. Okay, now this describes our level here. Okay. Okay, and uh, on this first program, we're doing it together, so you don't really need to um, to be that specific or not be that specific. Uh, you'll need to read this when you do the level. So as soon as you start the level, uh, even though we're doing it together, you should read this document. Okay, it's only one page. Right, it describes the, the the task that we're doing. So we're going to minimize that. Notice that it says turn on motor B, turn on motor C at a power level, wait one millisecond, and then we turn off our motors. And we also use the cortex, so in our case we're going to be using the cortex. And notice that they specify the ports here, not the names of the motors, right? In our case, notice that we use the name of the motor. Okay, so right motor and left motor in our case. Okay, there is one correction we need to make here um, for the sample program that we've opened up. We do need to go and we need to actually change one of the motors. So we need to go to Robot, 
and motor and sensor setup. And you'll notice that right motor is reversed, okay, and we need to actually change that. We can go into why that is a little later, but we just need to uncheck the reverse for now and click OK. Okay, so now we're going to do, um, uh, we need to actually, every time we change our program, we have to compile and download again. So we're going to go to Robot, Compile and Download Program. Okay, so it's going to go through its cycle of downloading our program again. And then we can start the level. So we're back in our virtual world. We click Start Level. And when we want to run our, run our program that we just compiled and downloaded, we go ahead and click the blue button. Okay. And there it goes. It ran the whole program. And we can get it back to the start by clicking the green button. And we can run it a second time. Okay, now let's take a look at our program here. Um, and let's take a look at what's different and what's the same about our programs versus the, the sample. Okay, now you should only, you're only editing inside task main here for now. Okay, but let's take a look at the sample program and let's make it look the same as our program. So we have motor port 2, motor port 3 equals 75. Okay, so I'm going to change it to be exactly the same. And then we're going to wait. It has it only waiting one millisecond. Okay, it doesn't have this first starting point. And then it has two lines at the end here where, oops, remember everything has to be inside the bracket, so we need to put our bracket down there. Okay, and this program actually stops the motors at the end of the program, which is a good habit to get into. So we're going to change this to zero. And we're going to change this. It actually uses it at 75, not 127. So we're going to change it to 75 instead of 127. Okay, so now we have an identical program to what is uh, what is on our um, uh, PDF. Okay, so, and remember, this is just a starting point. Okay, you're going to have to change the program. I'm going to go back in and change my comments. Okay, and let's try it out and see what happens. Okay, so I've changed my comments to reflect my changes in the program. Let's compile and download the program. So we go to Robot, Compile and Download. So this is our process. We change our program. We compile and download it. And then we can just run the green button to reset the simulation, and we run our program again. Okay, so that time it only ran for just one second. Let's say I want to make it run for two seconds. So I go back to my program, change it to two, or wait one m second to 2,000. If I make a lot of changes, I might want to wait to change these comments until after I'm completely finished with this section. So we go back to Robot, compile and download the program again. Reset my simulation and run the program again. Okay. So let's see what we're actually trying to do here. So we're trying to, uh, the challenge description, this challenge teaches the student to move the robot forward. So we have the start. Notice the robot's moving, so this is our goal right here where it says a robot. Okay, so once I get to that goal, uh, it'll let me know. And if I hit the goal, it's time to move on to, pro to challenge two. And how would I do that? I would go to return to menu, and I would click on challenge two, and I would read the level specifications, type in any uh, sample code that they gave me, 